supporters of Arizona's attempted crackdown on illegal immigration gathered outside the Supreme Court, and opponents who charged the Arizona law would target Hispanics. But the Obama administration dropped that charge. The government conceded that no, that it's not about racial profiling. The case is about Arizona's right to require police to determine the immigration status of anyone they stop and suspect is illegal and to detain them while they check with the feds. Obama administration lawyer Donald Verrilli argued Arizona is working to drive illegal immigrants out of the state. But conservative justice Antonin Scalia noted Arizona is not trying to kick out anybody the federal government has not already said does not belong here. It seems to me, said Chief Justice John Roberts, that the federal government just doesn't want to know who is here illegally and who's not. Swing Justice Anthony Kennedy asked, must the state accept in its borders illegal migrants? Liberal Justice Stephen Breyer asked, if they, Arizona, just call the feds, what's the conflict? Liberal Justice Sonia Sotomayor, a Latina, warned the Obama lawyer about his case. You can see it's not selling very well. Arizona Governor Jan Brewer left the hearing encouraged. Arizona has a right, and I as governor, I felt, uh, was somewhat ensured that I had a right uh, to protect the citizens of Arizona. Brewer charged President Obama sued her state to get a boost with Hispanic voters. If the justices here uphold the law, which after today seems more likely, Senate Democrats say they'll pass a bill to block the law and keep the issue alive through the November election. I'm Steve Handelsman, NBC News at the U.S. Supreme Court.